Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyla and today I'm back with another video and y'all I'm super excited because we are starting a series, okay? This series is going to be a back to basics series where we're going to be covering the foundations, all of the questions that you had um, while you're building a relationship with God or um, while you're thinking of building a relationship with God, we are going to be covering those. So everything from how to pray, how to hear from God, how does God speak through his word, how do I study the Bible, we're going to be covering those things today. And so the first part of this series, we're going to be covering how to pray. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss when I post a new video. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm always super excited to have you. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So one of the things I always hear people say is, I don't know how to pray. I, I just don't know how to pray. I don't know how to talk to God. Does God even hear me? And this is something that I asked myself. It was a major, major thing. I was just like, I just don't know how to pray. And I came across this resource from one of my favorite podcasts, the Blessed and Bossed Up podcast um, by Tatum to me. I'll leave the link below so you all can listen to it. But she was talking about this book called Fervent by Priscilla Shira. It looks like this. And in this book, she teaches us how to pray. Now, I want to premise this by saying there is no particular way that you need to pray. I always say that prayer is simply having conversation with God. Just as you are getting to know a new person and you're talking to them, you're asking them questions, you're listening to see how they respond. Um, that That's literally prayer. That's how you can talk to God. You don't have to change your voice. You don't have to speak at a certain pitch. You don't have to yell and scream in order to pray. Prayer is literally having conversation with God. Now there are ways that we can pray more strategically um, and for those of you who are like me and need like a system or a step by step type of thing to pray this is going to be for you guys but I just think it's a helpful model to base things off of. So the way she breaks it down is each letter in the word pray stands for something. First letter P in the word pray stands for praise. So when you begin to pray you're going to want to praise and enter into a time of thanksgiving. So this looks like thank you God that I woke up this morning. Thank you God that I'm in my right mind thank you God that I had a warm place to sleep thank you like just begin to thank God for all of the things that he's done and this is the most unselfish time this is praise is all about giving glory to God and so this will put you in that state of gratitude and you're inviting you know God's presence in so praise is not just something that you do just because you do it like we praise God because it's necessary God has been so good to us he sent his only son on the cross to die for our sins like we have so much to be thankful for and so never skip praising God and never just kind of gloss over it like it doesn't mean anything. This is the foundation of your prayer is giving praise to God. So on to the next one. The R in pray stands for repentance. Now repentance simply means to confess and to turn away from. I look at repentance as a way of opening your heart up to God and allowing him to cleanse you. So you're literally confessing those things, whatever you've done um, that has, I always say whatever you've done that has grieved the Holy Spirit knowingly or unknowingly. This is that time to repent for. So what this looks like practically for me is I'll say, okay, Lord, I repent for not trusting you today. I repent for being distracted. I repent for getting angry today. I repent for holding unforgiveness or bitterness in my heart. Um, and so during these, I repent for those kind of things. Repentance is, should always be a part of your prayer. And it's that time of like, okay, listen, God, these are all the things that I do. And I repent for doing those things. I'm going to turn away for those things. And so that takes you into the next letter, which is A. A stands for ask. So during, so now you've praised God, you've you know welcomed his presence, you've told him how thankful you are for who he is, for all that he's done, you've repented for your known and your unknown sins, and now you're going into a time of asking. This is where you make your request known to God. What are you asking God for? What do you need? What do you want? What do you need for other people? What strategies do you need? Um, and sometimes you don't even know what you need. And the good part about that is that we have the Holy Spirit living inside of us who already knows what we need. And so even if you're, you're asking just for help, God help me, Jesus help me. If that's all you can say to ask, that's totally fine because God already knows what you need. But again, as we talk about praying effectively, you wanna to begin to ask for specific things. So this looks like writing down maybe a list of what you need to present to God. So in prayer, you're not like all over the place. Um, I do this often, I have a prayer list where I'll literally write down like five things that I wanna focus on that I'm asking God for because then when he answers those prayers, you'll be able to go back and say, okay, you know what? I I remember asking this on this particular day and so we're, again we're talking about effective prayer so when you're asking God be as specific as possible 
And so here are some things that you can ask for. If you're going through a lot of warfare, you can ask God, okay, how is the enemy attacking me? Where is the door that was open that allowed the enemy to come in? What, you know, what do you have for me to do next in my life, God? I need direction. Father, I need wisdom. You can ask for all of these things and he will grant you. God is waiting for you to ask him for what you need. We have scripture that says you have not because you ask not. And so during this time, take this time seriously to ask God um, for specific things. Whatever you need, God has. And a lot of the times we feel like God can only give us general advice, but God cares about each and every single detail of our lives from your business to your personal life, to your family, to your next direction, to even the simplest things. God cares about those things. And so again, take advantage of this time to ask God for what you need. And the last letter Y stands for yes. The word says that all of God's promises are yes and amen. And I like to look at the word yes in two different ways. One way is saying, okay, God says that his promises are yes and amen. We're coming into agreement with his will for our life. And so we are, you know, that yes is standing for agreement. The other yes I look at is when I'm asking these things, um, I'm asking and God will give direction. So that means that I'm saying yes to God's will by being obedient. Often we hear the scriptures that says, don't just be hearers of the word, but be doers. So when we are coming to God and we're praying and we're asking these things of him, when he gives that direction, whether we agree with it or not, whether we like what he said or not, we need to come into agreement and be radically obedient about doing what he said. And so again, just to summarize, um, the word pray stands for praise, repentance, ask, and yes. And this is just, like I said, this is just one way that you can pray. There is no specific way, but if you need strategy, if you need just something to follow, this is a very helpful model. And one thing I wanted to add before we end, um, this isn't a part of the acronym, but an important part of prayer is listening. Remember, prayer is conversation with God. If you are talking to a person and all they're doing is talking and talking and talking and they never listen to what, they never pause to listen to what you have to say, how would that make you feel? Right? How did it make you feel if you constantly are going to a person, you're asking for something, but you're never sitting still. You're never asking them just about them. When you come to God in prayer, don't come from a selfish motive or perspective. This is why we pray all day. We pray without ceasing. That looks like, again, having conversation with God. When you're building a relationship with him, he wants you to get to know him, not all the things that he can just do for you, but getting to know him. And that involves listening. We have to be still. We have to make time to listen. God speaks in a still, small voice. And if you don't make time to listen to what he's saying, you will miss it. And then you'll be like, why isn't God answering my prayers? And it's like, have we sat still and listened for a response? Okay, so I hope this was really helpful for you guys. Again, this is a part of our Back to Basics series. I don't even know how long this is going to be, but we're going to go until God has covered all the basics that are needed. And if you guys have any questions, you can feel free to leave them in the comments below and we'll add it to the series. Okay, I love you guys very much and I will see you all on the next video.